Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to our Week 2 Online Spelling Lesson. This week, your learning intention is to use visual memory to spell irregular words. And your success criteria is that you can use the graph L, making the sound U as in leg. For your spelling lesson today, we will be following the smart spelling process. So, we will be starting with saying the word. We will then look at the meaning of the word. And I've actually put each word that we are going to be looking at today into a sentence so that you can see it in the correct context. We will then be analyzing the word. So we're going to be looking at the sounds that we can hear and the letters that make up those sounds. We will then be looking at what parts of the word we, needed, we need to remember in order to spell it correctly. And then you are going to be teaching it either to someone around you, whether that be a friend or a family member, or you may just like to have a turn at teaching it to yourself if, um, you know, your parents or your older brothers and sisters or grandparents, if they are busy tending to their own work. Okay, let's get started. The first word that we are going to be looking at today is from the red word column and the word is lovely. Say lovely. So lovely means very beautiful or attractive and the sentence that I have used for the word lovely is the view from the top of the mountain was lovely. Let's look at the sounds and letters that we can hear in the word lovely. We have l, a, l, e, lovely. You can see that at the top of the word, I have the letters that make up the word. And then below it, I have smaller letters. Those smaller letters represent the way that we pronounce the word and the sounds that we should be making with our mouth. However, the bigger letters represent the letters that make up those sounds. So we can see that the sound L at the beginning of lovely is made with the graph L. And this represents the uh, success criteria we are focusing on this week. The next sound we can hear is a. Uh, and that is made with the graph O. The next sound is V, and that is made with the digraph VE. The following sound is L, so we've got L, A, V, L, and that is once again made with the graph L. And then the final sound we hear is the E sound, and that is made with the graph Y. So the letters are L, O, V, E, L, Y. You may notice that when I am spelling the word lovely, I have, I make it quite quick when I say the V, E digraph together. That's just so you can recognize that those two letters are said together and they are pronounced with one letter. So L, O, V, E, L, Y. Lovely. Okay, what part of this word do you think you need to remember? Now, when I come up to this part in each step, I want you to really think about what, is, what you need to remember that's specific to you. So when I was looking at this word, I remember that lots of students, when they try and spell this word in their writing, they always forget that extra E, okay? So it's not just the V on its own making the v sound, it's actually the VE digraph. So that's why I underlined that. I thought maybe some of you might need to remember that. However, you might actually need to remember that the E sound at the end is made with the graph Y. Or the A uh sound at the beginning of the word is made with the letter O. So I want you to have a think, what part of the word do you need to remember? in order to spell the word lovely correctly. Okay, I want you now to have a turn at spelling the word without looking at it. This can either be in a workbook, on a whiteboard, you could trace the word in the air with your finger, 
Or if you're working at a computer, you might want to have a turn at typing it. Now, you may not have anyone around you who can actually check to see that you are spelling it correctly. And that is perfectly fine. I still want you to have a turn at spelling the word without looking at it. And then when we come to the end of the video and all the words are displayed on the screen, then you can go back and double check to make sure, to make sure that you have spelt it all correctly. Okay, spell the word lovely. The next word that we are going to be looking at today is from the orange word column and it is the word pleasant. Can you please say the word pleasant? Pleasant means giving a sense of happy satisfaction or enjoyment. And the sentence for pleasant is, the warm summer's evening was pleasant. Okay, so the sounds that we can hear when we pronounce the word pleasant is p, u, e, s, e, n, t, pleasant. You can see, once again, I have put the little letters at the bottom of the screen. And that's just to help you understand how the word should be pronounced and the sounds that we should be hearing. However, the important part of this word, or the important part of our spelling lesson is understanding that there are different letters that can make those sounds. So you can see that the P sound is being made with the letter P, the U sound is being made with the letter L. The E sound is actually being made with the digraph EA. The S sound is being made with the letter S. The next E sound is being made with the letter A, which is on its own. The N sound is being made with the letter N. And the T sound is being made with the letter T. It's important to note in this word that there we can hear two e eh sounds. However, they are spelt each time slightly different. The e eh sound at the beginning of the word is being spelt with the graph ea. And at the end of the word, it is being spelt with the singular graph a. So we have p, l, e, a, s. A -N -T. Perhaps you may like to remember how to spell this word by looking at the end of it and you may see that you've got the word ant, A-N-T. If you can remember how to spell ant, then you should be able to remember that we have the P-L-E-S ant and that E sound at the beginning of the word is with the graph E-A. So P-L-E-A-S-A-N-T. P-L-E-A-S-A-N-T. Pleasant. What part of this word do you need to remember? Remember, this is very specific to you. I have underlined the digraph E-A, which makes the S sound, as I believe that this is a common mistake that many students make. They always tend to leave out that the additional A. So P-L-E-A-S-A-N-T. Pleasant. Okay, have a turn at spelling the word without looking at it. The final word we are going to be looking at today is from the green word column. And this word is marvel. Please say the word marvel. Marvel means to be filled with wonder or astonishment. It's no wonder then that the Marvel franchise is called that. Perhaps all the superheroes give us lots of wonder and astonishment at what they can do. The sentence I have created for the word marvel so that you can see it in the correct context is, Hannah was happy to marvel at her surroundings. The sounds and letters that we can 
hear and see in the word marvel. We have m, a, v, u, l, marvel. We can see that the sound m is being made with the letter m. The sound r is being made with the digraph ar. The sound v is being made with the graph v. The sound u is actually being made with the graph e. And the sound l is being made with the graph l, as per our success criteria. So we have m, a, r, v, e, l. It is very interesting to point out that in the word marvel, although it sounds like it's a double O making the OO sound, it's actually the letter E. It's also important to point out that the digraph AR is making that singular R sound. So we have M, A, V, O, L, M, A, R, V, E, L. What part of this word do you need to remember? I've underlined the graph, E, which is making the OO sound. However, you may like to remember the AR digraph, which is making the R sound. Once again, this part of our spelling process is entirely specific to you. Okay, have a turn at spelling the word without looking at it. Remember, the word is marvel. That brings us to the end of our week two online spelling lesson. As you will see, we have all of the words for this week in their corresponding red, orange, green and personal word columns. You are encouraged to have a turn or a try at memorizing and familiarizing yourself with all of the words on our spelling list. However, if that is too overwhelming, you know that you only have to focus on the spelling list that you are up to. It is entirely up to where it's entirely up to what you are up to and you are learning at your own pace. If you are someone who is only up to the red column, you are encouraged to focus on the words in the red column. However, if you want to have a turn at learning all of the words in the orange and green and purple column, you can do that too. But please do not overwhelm yourself self with extra work if it is too much. Just focus on your areas that you have been looking at in class. So our words in the red column are lovely, happily, travel, label, and enroll. In the orange list, we have pleasant, general, realistic, religion, and model. In the green column, we have development, accomplish, technical, although, and marvel. In the personal word list, we have dependency, desperate, disadvantageously, discipline, and dramatically. If you are up to the personal purple word column, you only need to focus on three of those words, and it is entirely up to you which three words you choose. However, if you really want to challenge yourself and push yourself, you are welcome to try and learn all five words. Um, for today, you only have to choose one of the activities on the right hand side. However, if you want to have a turn at doing all three activities, that is entirely up to you. So the newspaper word activity requires you to cut out letters from a magazine or newspaper to form five to 10 of your spelling words. As you can see, I've given you an example of what that may look like. Now, I do need to point out I have included capital letters in the middle of the word travel. I've included a capital A and a capital L. 
you all know that when we are writing properly uh, in our workbooks, so when we are spelling, we do not use capital letters in the middle of a word. Capital letters are only for the beginning of a sentence or for proper nouns. However, for this activity, it is allowed simply because it may be too challenging to find letters that are all lowercase. So if you do happen to have capital letters in the middle of a word for this newspaper activity, that is perfectly okay. Just please make sure you do not write like that when you are spelling your words, when you write them out. Um, the next activity is the pyramid word activity. So you need to choose five to 10 of your spelling words and write them once in the shape of a pyramid by simply adding one extra letter to each line each time. So as you can see, I have used the word lovely and pleasant and the beginning of the word model, which is the letter M there. Um, and you can see that the letters are each put onto a different line by adding one more each time. So we've got one, then two, then three, then four, then five, and so on. Um, and yes, the letters are not all going to be next to each other and you may be joining some words to the end of other words, but it's just another fun way for you to familiarize yourself with um, the spelling sequence and the order in which the letters go in. And the final activity that you will be completing is the ABC order. You are required to write your spelling words in alphabetical order. So starting at A and making your way down the spelling list, uh, the alphabet list. Now you know that if you have more than one word starting with the same letter, you then look at the second letter of each word, the third letter, the fourth letter, and so on until you can um, put them in the correct order. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed your online spelling lesson for this week and find the activities enjoyable. If you have any extra questions or need any assistance, please feel free to contact your classroom teacher as I'm sure they will be able to help you out. Okay, enjoy your spelling activities and enjoy learning from home. We hope to see you all in the classroom soon. Bye, happy spelling.